King Drew. What's going on, y'all, man? Uh, welcome back. We are with, I kind of want to call him DBU. Uh, a whole bunch of great DBs by, beside me to the left, man. Jontavis Wyman, who just committed to Georgia. As you guys can see with the hat on. I obviously got Jamar Owens and obviously Cortez Retton. To my right of me, you got uh, Bacon, Arvon Bacon, the Bacon Network, and obviously inside the hatch is Jerome. So, I mean, I, I kind of want to start there, man. I feel like not a lot of people get to tell you guys his story, man. And uh, we was catching up with Cortez and obviously Jamar, Jontavis, when you had ran off, but. What, what's been your favorite thing, man, just being together, man, and uh, being able to kind of build your relationship off the field? I know y'all grew up together as well. Uh, it's been great, uh, for real, for real. Uh, playing with these guys, it just feels good. Uh, we be with each other a lot, like, off the field, and I, I feel like that helps our connection on the field. So, I mean, when we play, we're unstoppable. All right. I feel like the brotherly love that we have for each other and the bond that we have with each other is going to create and continue that chemistry that we already have. Yeah, I feel like we got the best fun out of everybody. Like, I, like regardless of football, I know, like, we got each other regardless. So, like, that makes football so easy for, for us on the field because I, we know we got each other back regardless of everything. And like I said, like, we hang out every time. But probably our best time when we was always in the Bahamas. That's probably the best thing we all did. Yes, <laughs> funnest trip we ever had. And then uh, for you, Cortez, um, so I think this is a good question. Who, who's the leader of you three? Who's the leader? Who's the leader? <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let, me, nah. let me tell you, let me tell you why. Jante, Jante is the athlete, so Jante, do he, he does more than, he does more than both of us. So he, he's the athlete because he played both sides of the ball. So he don't really have time to show leadership. Jamar? He kind of like in his own world. He he gonna get the job done. He get in his own world. Me, I be having to, you know, I get the job done, but I'ma lead them to. I'ma tell them what's right. I I I I be having to tell them what's right sometimes. You know, now nah, don't don't mess up on the field. Like not like not like on the field, not playing wise. They they know what to do. Regardless, I ain't worried about. It. But me like leading them, like as a team, I I feel like I can be a leader. I got another hot topic for y'all. <laughs> Dante, do you agree with him? Yeah. Yeah. Who is the best player out of you three? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you We all good in our own way. That's all I got to say. That's a political answer, though. I don't know. Yeah, come on, man. Come on, give us some tea, man. All right, offensively, it's Dante Alvaro. Because he, that's what he do. Okay. Defensively. It depends on what we're doing. It ain't just everybody. In, but he he probably the, the hardest hitter. Okay. But I'm the best hitter. Okay. I can make a tackle, bro. <laughs> <laughs> One on one. <laughs> like me on anybody. Uh, what you mean? Let me ball see. hawk me. Ball hawk me. I don't know. Though. I'm ball hawk too, nah, though. Man. You dropped like three of them. Like, <laughs> I can't count no more. Damn me, ain't no ball hawk. You I'm what? I'm there. Yeah, you there, you there, you there. <laughs> but he said better player though. Yeah, now let me player. get the mic. Let me get the mic. <laughs> <laughs> like the best player. Like we all three great players. But like, if we saying like as like best, yes, I would say like me at the end of the day. But it's just cause like the fact that I'm able to like expand and play more. Like these, like they're wonderful, like great players. Right. But it's just like the only reason I say like I would be the best or considered the best because I play like a lot of positions. So, so, so does that kind of led to you being such a superior athlete? Like you play so many different positions: defense, offense, wide receiver, DB, all these different positions. Has that allowed you to be a superior athlete? Uh, yeah. It has, for real, for real. And then uh, return specialist too. Like, I return, like, I love returning. Gotcha. So, so. All right, well, I got another fun question, man. Keep it PG, though. Keep it PG. But tell me a crazy story between y'all three. 
childhood experience together. Yeah, yeah, crazy story. Keep it PG though, if you can. Let me think of a crazy story. Nah. We done did, we done had some long night. Long night. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Nah, Let me see. I don't know. Then one day, so we we all chilling. We we like okay, let's go to this party. So we went to this party, and then you know we, we, we were just chilling, and then that's when we left the party. Matter of fact, last night we just went. To no, 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 nah, not that. Nah, we talking about this. We talking about this party. We was at the party. We driving. We had a we had a, we had a drive. We had to drive some of our folks. We had to drive one of our like. <laughs> when our older folks truck, so we driving the truck. It's like a good like five, six of us in the car. So out of nowhere, the car just shut down. <laughs> then we had a like we had to turn the car off. We just, it's dark. We it then like we just we driving like for like one minute, then we we'll stop. Drive one then until we got to the store. <laughs> had to put water and it's gas the, in the car. It's like middle of the night. Middle of the night. Though, so it's like no then we was doing up. it. You gotta figure it out. Man, we in John, bro. We had to count all the way to start bread. <laughs> And then we made it to a McDonald's. So me, me and my running, me and my, me and my running back lose. We so we ran out. So we had to go inside the hotel, and then we had to go get some water and put it inside the car. Yeah, the then, we, made we made it work. Yeah, yeah we made it work though. I bet we got home though. I bet we got home. I bet we got home. Hey, Let me think. I say a crazy time we had was going back to the Bahamas trip. Ah, last night in the Bahamas. Nah, let me take that back. Let me take that back. We all went to we all went to PCB for spring break, right? Oh, I know y'all cut Oh my God, man, we had some fun. That last night, yeah, we just felt like we were global. The last night, we just like man, we turned up everywhere we go. We turned up. Yeah, we turned up. Yeah. Alright, let me ask you to build off that. Who the Casanova on the team? Who, who pulled, pulled the most girls out of the team? Pulled the most. I, I got I to gotta go a different way about this. Like, he the wildest when it comes to pulling girls. Like, he going he gonna to go, he, he going he gonna to get it done. Care. Him? Yeah, he don't shower. care. He don't care. That's shower? Nah, he, he, he like in the middle. Like, he going to say little slick stuff. He going to say little slick stuff to get a girl. But he ain't going to always approach you. He's just going to say, like, me, I'm the laid back one. I, it takes a girl to come to me. I gotta see like she actually feeling me for her, before I go talk to her. But them, they see anything fine, they like, oh, I gotta go get her ASAP. Them, for sure. And I go, nah, I gotta chill. <laughs> but I don't do none of that no more. I got a girlfriend. I got a girlfriend. Oh God. Man, fast, I got a girl. I'm chill now, man. I, I passed my days away, man. That, we no talking about back then. Yeah, no, 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 I got a girlfriend. I got a girlfriend. Lineups. Nope. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, y'all boys wild. Man. I got to get myself together after that. Um, uh, let's see. What what game y'all most looking forward to? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I look. We look more forward to uh, the Douglas County game. Outside of Douglas, too. Yeah. Outside of Douglas, outside of Douglas, I say Stars Mill or Central Carrollton. Really, Central Carrollton, like to see. I mean, I have to know, like, you know, the running back stuff like that. So, I mean, he got to see us. I really, I say, like, I really look forward to the Douglas County game because we, like, skill wise, I feel like we match up. We match up with them. So, so now I feel like. We're gonna be battle tested, and we're gonna see what we all about that day. And I feel like I like it. Like I said, I like us over anybody. So we're gonna really see what's up. I'm gonna throw it back to you. I want to ask a question on the DC game. Coach Don't my sees watching the background. I'm not trying to reveal y'all game plan, but if y'all had a preference, would y'all prefer to run man in that game, or would y'all prefer to run zone? I like. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna say what we prefer. I'm, I'm gonna just say. That they that they top three receivers or athletes versus my three, I I'm taking I'm round with my three. And if we lose, I'm losing with my three guys regardless. I am. If, they, if that's how we gotta lose, that's how we gotta lose. But I'm taking me and my two guys over anybody. So. Alright, so just um what's y'all thoughts? Did y'all expect a uh, ticket to go to Toledo? You know what I'm saying? Were y'all surprised? I was surprised. You surprised? I was surprised. I thought we were going to Georgia State. I thought he was going to Georgia State. I thought he was a Georgia State. I thought he was going to Georgia State. I really thought he was going to Georgia State, but when he said Toledo, I mean, I wasn't really surprised because, I mean, 
they had like been at the top of his charts like for a little minute, and then but after that Georgia State like official visit, I was thinking like, oh yeah. He finna go there. Right. Then, cause like when our our coach used to go there, uh, Coach Ed Kearney. So I'm thinking like he was gonna, you know, go go there, fill in some shoes. But I mean, I'm, I'm proud of him though, and, and happy for he, what he got going on. He definitely yeah. worked for that. I feel like Toledo gonna fit him well, cause he from he from Alaska, so it's like he ain't really no city boy for real. So <laughs> I feel like uh, that's gonna be a real good fit for him. Definitely proud of him. He definitely worked for it. I, I seen his progress. So it's like seeing his progress, knowing that he just committed, that's big because like he definitely worked for all of it. But he tricked me. He told me <laughs> it's a big blue school. So I just figured like it was Georgia State. <laughs> then commitment day he committed to Toledo. But I'm proud of him, man. So who uh who got the most dread man? I see my boy he got the he got the gun shades on, you know what I'm saying? Jamar just Jamar just got that his himself swag, you know what I'm saying? Take even, I can really I can't even say who who got the best drip because you really catch all of us on a good day. It's all together. It's all together. Like anybody I be around got it together on a good day. We ain't gonna miss. We ain't gonna miss. I I'm from well, none of nobody I be we don't miss too much. So we gonna Look good <laughs> everywhere. Dude, I always it. go dog. <laughs> Wood. When we walk past, psh, man, <laughs> y'all don't even want to know what they be saying. <laughs> <laughs> they talking about some, ooh, they got that on. Yeah. I say, yeah. yeah. I'm saying, I, I love no it. You know what I'm saying? La last couple questions, man. You know what I'm saying? Who getting, who getting waxed on NCAA? Who getting waxed on the sticks right now? Real. You go look at my. You go look at my rank. He a yeah. game freak. I'm, I'm. I'm like top eighty thousand in the nation. Like he a game freak. I play he, NCAA I don't, for real. I don't even play video games. How I many hours you playing today, bro? Who well, me? Oh, probably, probably like on a weekend. If 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 I'm if I feel like staying in the house, like yeah. a rainy day, it's like fourteen. For real, I wake up. I'm probably wake up around like ten thirty. Get off around like eleven. I'm keep it a buck. Yeah. Cause I mean, I ain't got nothing else to do. It raining outside. So. But I mean, really on a normal day, if I'm like going out with guys, I really don't even touch my game. I really, I just wake up, do what I gotta do, and then I usually be out, come home, and then go to sleep. For real, for real. Yeah. He be on the game too, but he, See, you know, he be working. Me, so though. Yeah, I, be, I got a little job, so I, I, barely, be, I barely be on the game. <laughs> so I got two things going on. So when I get out of work, I be tired. But if I'm on NCAA, I be on road to glory. I got, I be right. I ain't played nobody for real yet. I played my dad a couple times, but that was on like You lost? Come on. <laughs> I ain't even go count. He beat me twice. No. He beat me twice. I like 10 times, though. No way you do it to your dad. Listen, no. though. <laughs> hey, he not mad at him. He, he ain't let me get my team to him. And, and who, Peyton from, Peyton from FSU, sacking me every, <laughs> every play. Me, though. I'm a t I'm the chill one. I I'm the chill one out of all of us. So I don't even play the game for real. Like you come to my house, you probably won't even see no game system. So I just be chilling, man. I be low key. Come back, um, pass it to you, Jay. All right, boys. Well, obviously, all of y'all are DBs, man. I used to play the DBs position. I like to ask this question because I feel like they be sp disrespecting our position. What is what is it about the DB position that you think is the hardest? And you know, I want one of you guys to say one thing because I think. DB position is the hardest position to play. Besides quarterback, DB is definitely the hardest position to play. You're 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 backpedaling, guarding somebody coming at you full speed, not knowing what they're going to do. You kind of have to guess most of the time what they're going to do, and they know they they got so many options they can choose from. So, and they come in and they coming at you, and you playing on your heels. So you have to try to guard somebody going backwards full speed, not knowing what they're going to do. So I definitely feel like it's definitely hard to do. And we don't get enough praise for it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, uh, well, as a DB, like, you can make little, you got to make little to no mistakes if you want to win most of your reps. Like, DB is most definitely one of the hardest positions to play. Mm. For real? I think, I think, the rankings like of hardest positions, corner first, quarterback second, then safety, or mm. or some something else. But for real, I ain't gonna count. Like it's just like playing corner. You man to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Most of the game, then it's like, oh no, you gotta 
me outside with the big running backs, like coming out the backfield. So it's basically like you're out there by yourself. Because, I mean, once they hit the outside, it's like it's just you and him. And then because they'll help. Yo, safety's back there, like, they, I mean, they're not down there yet, but, I mean, you got to make a play in order for them, like, to not get back there. But, uh, yeah, I most definitely say, like, it's, it's very uh, hard to play DB. Now, I know uh, they, they say DB position and the wide receiver, wide receiver position are the most diva type uh, positions in football. What's some of the things that you guys maybe heard from a, uh, a, a opposing wide receiver <laughs> that, that you're just like, nah, like, what's some of the things that some of those wide receivers said to you guys? Like, <laughs> For real? I love playing against people that trash talk because I like to talk my smack too. So it's like, I mean, if you're going to pop it, I'm going to pop it. And then I'm going to show you why I'm popping it, like. I'm going to show you why I'm really, like, doing this for real. Like, you can't say, oh, yeah, you ain't nothing, you sorry. But I just, like, scrapped you. You're you not scoring. But, I mean, I love, like, the competition and then, like, like how we talk to each other. And it's, it's very great. Me, I ain't the trash talker. I ain't none of that. You, you can talk to me crazy all you want. I'm just show you why you, like, you going to shut that up. But just recently at FCA camp. I was going crazy against, I hit somebody hard. He started talking crazy. He said, who am I? All I said was, well, look me up. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, me, I feel like I trash talk. I, try, I do like the trash, like I'm like, I'm like Jante. I feel like, like in the game, if you, if you ever mic up me and Jante together on the same side, get bad, like we gonna talk it to anybody. But like a lot of stuff people like to say to me, I feel like a lot of people be know who he is already. So like, they they don't do nothing. Like they don't they wouldn't do nothing. But a player be over and they just say, "You trash your offer." Like I don't know how you got offers. Like that's the car everybody like to pull. So then after that, I just be having to show them like I'm really who I say I am. Like this not no food. So that's the lot. That's the most thing they like to say to us though. Like. Yo, offer you. You should have all them offers. You trash. That's the most thing. That, that's the only thing they can say to us. But then I feel like every time somebody say that to us, we go back and show them why we got all the offers. My last question to you guys is: um, Obviously, you guys are boys on and off the field. Um, tell me some of the crazy things that you guys say uh, about each other. So, like, you tell me about those two, and vice versa. What's some of the things that you heard one of the other guys say, either on or off the field? <laughs> Let me see, like, like you saying like some like some funny stuff they said yeah, or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like on the field, trash talking, anything like that. Hmm. <laughs> I don't really. Let me see. I don't really. Be. First shout out, first shout out the whole Yan group chat. <laughs> if you don't know, we got a little little group, a little crew called the Yan crew. So shout out the whole. I don't know, like. <laughs> they just funny like I can't even describe like being around them all day I promise you can laugh all day like you don't you don't even like we just we go to parties and stuff and do extra stuff because we want to but like really we can just be around each other all day and we can have fun vibes cool vibes kick it at each other house and just chill like they, they funny bro I promise they funny you can be around them all day fish we, we they we go fishing it's funny I'm the one that don't like fishing. No, it's too hot. It be too hot to go outside. They want to go outside in 90 degree week heat and go fish. I be like, bro, it's too hot. They funny though. I ain't gonna lie. They funny. How, how y'all going fishing and y'all cracking jokes and stuff like that? Like, are y'all actually catching something? Yeah. yeah they, nah, nah, nah. I can't lie. I can't lie though. They good fishers. They good fish. Like, been, they actually, they actually know. They know what they doing out there. But it just be too hot for me. I don't like sitting in the heat for too long. Yeah, diva, bro. <laughs> I don't like sitting in the heat for too long, man. Yeah. For real? It, I mean, it really be like when we all with each other, like, I mean, so for real, for real, if, if whenever that day in the life come, people going to see, like, mm, how, how we funny. act, how we how funny we are. Because, I mean, we always doing something, like, we... We not just finna be in the house bored, especially if we with each other, like why be with each other if we just finna stay in the house. So we might just go get something to eat, chill at this place, we might go to the next person's house. Everybody got a car. So Alright, that last question. <clears throat> uh, y'all coaches, I wanna know who is the funniest coach on the team. And if you tell me that coach, I want you to give me an impression of them. Mm. Oh, <laughs> 
The funniest coach on the team, it got to be out of Coach Damo or Coach Floyd. It, it, Coach Floyd is just not even funny, like, like trying to be funny. It's like the way he just do stuff, like. <laughs> hey, quit that mess, quit that mess, quit that mess. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I ain't gonna lie. Like people don't know it. Like people just think Coach Floyd is like just so laid back, but Coach Floyd is actually funny. Like you be around him, like you do one little thing wrong. Like if you don't, you don't run onto the field when before practice start. Just sorry. Nah, you're just like sorry. <laughs> sorry. 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 Nah. And then he always bring up, anytime you do, you may do something little, like you might just walk. You don't even know nobody behind you, you walking out the door, you just close. That's that eye. Yeah, that's, that's that, that eye. That eye. <laughs> you can't do nothing, and you can't do nothing. Oh, you scared. Oh, you scared. Oh, you spook crew. Spook crew. Man, man, some, yo, a drink just asked him to sit by your hand. Spook. 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 Yeah, he always say he got top one. He say he got top one hands on the team. He got the best hands on the team. Coach Floyd, top 300 on the team. 300? 300. He got 300 on the team. <laughs> For me, it's really coach, either Coach Ed or Coach Brooke. Like, just the way they be getting on folks, when they be messing up, like, Oh, yeah. Cole, Cole Ed, he gonna get you for anything. You are say you run all the way to the sideline. If you get, if you stop right there at that line, he gonna make you run. If you, you, no, really gonna make you do up downs. Okay, then Cole Brooks. Oh God, my God. God! Oh my <laughs> God! Boy, that guy will tell you oh anything. He don't care what he say to you. Crazy. Fact, boy. But yeah, for me, Cole Ed, Cole Brooks. Yeah, Cole yeah, Ed. I, he I don't think that's vibes, man. That be that be. All right, fellas, I got one more, and I'm going to let y'all go, man. It's a lot of big brands, you know what I'm saying? That y'all wearing, man. John Tay, you, you got the Wee Ball on. You got the Phenom. Uh, what else we got there? That's it. Wee Ball, Phenom. Yeah, Nike jerseys. Nike jerseys, you know what I'm saying? So what's y'all go-to, man? Mm. Uh, my go-to is really designer. <laughs> we, yeah, we on, the all, field, all, on the field, off the field. On the field, oh, on the field, on the field really, like, I mean, so Wee Ball. White Nike socks or polo, some we bought towel, regular compression shirt. It's no matter what the compression shirt from, it's a compression shirt. Yeah, really, yeah. Mitt David for real. For I'll put you down, sponsor. Mitt David sponsor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, glove. I mean, cottage glove. I mean, but I don't really like wearing cottage glove like that. I wear like regular we ball, like gloves for real. For real. that, really be it. <clears throat> See yeah. me. On we buy head to talk. I'm talking about ski mat, be we buy all the band, all my sleeves, the tights I got on, we buy. But um, yeah, that really it for real. We, we buy. Me, I'm more like a Nike type of guy. So like, I like to have it like Nike sock, Nike cleat, Nike bands. But I'm gonna keep a we buy screamer type on. So definitely gonna go we buy screamer type. But I'm more like Nike on the field. We buy need that. Off the field though. We 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 more some designer guys out the field oh, now. Like we grew shit. out of we we kind of grew out of the Jordans and stuff. We like we into like the Pradas and and stuff yeah, now. We hello, yeah. I'm still into Jordans. Nah, no, no, we still like Jordans and stuff. Don't get us wrong, but like sometimes we, we like to go designer now. Designer yeah. starting to pop out now. That's it, young Fred. All right, this final question to wrap us up before we talk. Obviously, the next guest. Um, Man, what has Coach Domo kind of meant to y'all? I know he coaches y'all position, man, but just in terms of y'all development and getting y'all where y'all want to be, y'all all are very highly rated um, prospects here in the state. Some of the best, you know, I think one of the best uh, DB rooms, let alone in the country. So just talk about what he's meant to y'all development. Uh, Coach Domo, he, he he means a lot to my recruitment and uh, this process. Uh, I mean, he's, he's growing more closer to me. He's like family. Uh, I know I can call him if I need anything and vice versa. I mean, he's very great. He's very funny, and then he can he can always lift you up. And then at first, my freshman year, I was, you know, I was I came in. We had a strong quarterback, but you know, I was I was still trying to play quarterback. <laughs> he was telling me like, man, you could be a five star at DB receiver, this and that, woo -woo. and then shoot, I, I made the switch, and here we are. So I want to thank him for that. What's up?
Uh, Domo, he like my big brother, like, for real, like, the way he done developed me, always looked after me outside of football. Like, Domo, he was, like, when I was in eighth grade, he was the first uh, coach I started working with uh, when I knew I was going to go to Domo, bro. And he said that day I was going to be a three or four star, too. I remember that. And since then, he done just developed me so much, got me so much better. Then he do a lot for us, take us on visits, just chill out sometimes. Like, it just be, he just cool vibes. Nah, I, I really appreciate him. Just to piggyback off what you said, I, I do feel like we are the top DB room in the <laughs> country, most definitely. But uh, back to Domo, Domo, just like he said, Domo a big brother. Domo gonna be there with you, he gonna keep it real and like, his his younger brother JG like been through the Power Five college experience, so he like know and he like tell us the real. He gonna keep it real with us, tell us like what we really need to know, and like he just always believed in us before everybody. Like he he always was like he told like he said like he told them like, he told me like bro you gonna you gonna go Power Five in football and like I could you not like months later I started getting offers and like I just trusted him, work with him. He, like he the first person to. First coach to just say, all right, come on, we finna work out together. We finna perfect your craft, finna work on your technique. And I just stayed down with him. Like, I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even say I need to go to another trainer or nothing because, like, I feel like he gave me the gym to the game. And I really appreciate him for everything he do. Yeah, that, uh, pick up what he said. I mean, I don't really feel like I need to go, like, train with nobody else. I mean... Why, do, why go train with somebody else if, I mean, I got somebody right here that could train me every second. So, I mean, everybody keeps saying this and that. Why you don't train with this person, that person? I mean, I got tiptoe training. Y'all go train with tiptoe training. I swear tiptoe no, training. Sorry. Well, y'all, that's all the time we got, man. We appreciate, obviously, Coach Sherp, Coach Domo, Coach Floyd allowing this interview. They spectacular athletes, man. Y'all got, like, a mantra or anything y'all want to say as closing thoughts before we get out of here? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah,